All right, let's go ahead and talk about your Utah Jazz. I always time that drink wrong. I don't know why. So do it faster, right? That intro is a lot faster than our other one. YouTube attention span is not so great. Um, so let's go ahead and talk a little about Utah Jazz basketball here. It's a good a strategy on YouTube if you are creatively bankrupt to run a part two on your most popular video. Yes. The most watched video on this channel is actually Utah Jazz, the end of an era, which is a video we put out a while ago. Yep. Which is still getting a lot which of Which was a fantastic channel. video. Make sure you check that one out. We'll put a link to it right there. Yes, absolutely. Check that one out. The fact is, is another era is ending, Darren. Yes. In that video, we talked about how the remodeling of the arena is going to change things because of the Utah Hockey Club joining us. It's going to change the layout, so it's not going to be the same ever again, right? Right. Well, something just happened again this week that's also going to change jazz games again. So let's go ahead and break down why it is also important to make sure that you go to as many jazz games as you possibly can this year. And this is unfortunately a part two to that video. It's not because we're creatively bankrupt. It's just because the team made an announcement that has forced us to make a part two. Yep. On September 13th, 2024, Dan Roberts, public address announcer for the Utah Jazz, our Utah Jazz, announced that he will be retiring after the 2024 and 2025 season. Dan has been with the program since 1979. Mm -hmm. The entirety of the team stay in Utah and is currently the longest tenured PA announcer in the NBA. You, when you go into a jazz game, you go to a jazz and you get there early enough and you get to hear about them jazz, you know, as they were on yeah. the court. That's just iconic. You know, this team has had a lot of icons on it. The statues outside. Who could forget Hot Rod Hunley? When you're in the game, there's no more iconic voice in NBA than our boy Dan Roberts. You know what's crazy is I remember going to the Jazz game over multiple different seasons and being like, "How do they, I wonder how they get the the end game guy to sound the same every single year?" <laughs> it took me a while to realize it's been the same guy it's for been this same. ever. Literally since they brought the franchise to Utah, they've had the same PA announcer the whole time. And then his son Jeremy is also a PA announcer. Yeah, he's actually covered a few times. And and yeah, he has cover. He's filled in on a few occasions when Dan's not available or whatever. And he sounds almost exactly like him. Oh, for sure. Almost exactly <laughs> the same. Before he got the gig, he was the uh, announcer for the ABA Utah Stars team. Also was the voice of the University of Utah basketball team as well. Yep. So this guy's been calling games and, and, and being the public announcer for games here in Utah for quite a long time. This is a quote from Ron Boone, who's heard his voice more than anybody else. Dan is the best in the league. His voice defines utah basketball and he sets himself apart from everyone else yeah man this is his last year if you have not been to a utah jazz game in a while uh this is really the last time you're gonna be able to hear that legendary voice you know call the games call the shots call the fouls and end of go here. take your time enjoy it enjoy the arena as it sits right now before they get it under construction a little bit further enjoy dan roberts and his excellence that is the longest tenured nba on pa announcer this is going to be a really unique season utah jazz fans everything changes after this year Does. go sit at the games cheer on these young kids Let's watch some jazz basketball. You absolutely, know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, there is one thing I hope does change after this year, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> it's a different video, Darren. <laughs> we want to hear from you folks. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about the announcement that our legendary uh, PA announcer, Dan Roberts, is retiring. We want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, who do you think is going to replace him? Do you think it's just going to be a the Nepo thing? A Nepo thing where we just rolled into a Sun yeah, Jeremy absolutely. Lane Bring it. I'm all right with that. I'll be okay. I'll be perfectly it fine with that. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. We want to hear from you folks. Also, keep in mind, folks, we did just launch our own channel covering your Utah Jazz called Utah Jazz DNA. If you're watching this on our main channel, DNA Sports Recap, a link to Utah Jazz will be in the description below. This is where you're going to find all your Utah Jazz coverage first uh before it goes on to our main channel dna sports recap if you're watching this on utah jazz dna we would really appreciate a subscribe and a like if you enjoy this content if you're following us for our utah jazz content once this channel hits a thousand subscribers we're giving away one of those sweet new utah jazz black jerseys so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that giveaway yep and if you're watching on youtube on one of our short videos or you're watching on the live stream just know this is available as a podcast wherever you get your audio the whole episode once again, folks, we did make it to 1,000 subscribers on DNA Sports Recap. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We'll be giving the first $500 that we earn in AdSense revenue back to y'all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because as that AdSense money rolls in, 
that money's going to roll right back back to you. you. Exactly. With all that said, my name is Darren. That is AJ. And this has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time. Check out our merch down down there. there. Check it out.